Today, we need to pray for the water in Standing Rock, Sibonagadic, Grassy Narrows, Barrier Lake, Muskrat Falls, Budladeck, Harriet's Field, Williamswood, Picto Landing in British Columbia, and everywhere. So this project is meant to store huge quantities of high pressure natural gas deep underground in salt caverns. These caverns have not yet been created, but are supposed to be created by solution mining, basically by putting water underground to dissolve caverns into an existing salt deposit. The water that will come out of that is a brine that's eight times saltier than seawater and would be flushed to the Shubenacadie River. The idea is the channel there is where Alton Gas intends to dispose of the brine resulting from this mining. For anybody to believe that they could put 20 caverns of gas storages under the ground for one kilometer under the ground, pump all that salt into the river and everything is good. Who would, <laughs> who would believe that? There's questionable geology even um, at play and some of the science isn't very solid. So maybe all of the solution mining, when they finally do a pressure test, maybe it's going to even fail. So, this, this, is a, this is a bad idea. So starting with water, Alton Gas poses threats to water at every stage of the project and in every way possibly imaginable. The salt formation that these caverns would be carved into is at risk of leaks. And in other similar projects to this one, these leaks are completely unpredictable and have resulted in methane um, reaching the surface many dozens of kilometers away. When we talk about expanding a natural gas industry in Nova Scotia and damaging our water, this becomes a ma massive concern because now Nova Scotia becomes a major actor in this very global problem. This project demonstrates clearly that the foundation of the negotiating relationship between the Mi'kmaq and the government has strayed from the original intention of the treaties. What the government wanted to do was split us up into little, what they call bands, so they could negotiate deals with each individual band and put you in dire strait so that the very basics substance of food, of housing, you would survive, you'd sign to save your, just to save your, your family. They want to make a benefit agreement with our community now. First I heard it was a million. Now it's like up to $20 million. We'll build you a hockey rink. Alton Gas or any corporation really don't have the authority to consult with an indigenous nation. It's got to be a government-to-government -government process. So for the provincial government to direct Alton Gas in some form to consult with the Mi'kmaq Nation right from the start is wrong. Why would we talk to a, why would we talk to a corporation? It's just a corporation. There's just simply no more room in the carbon budget globally for new fossil fuel development. If they're willing to spend twenty million dollars for any month. Um, to get this done, then we know it's not just two caverns. We know that this is not just um, just for s them to store gas. This is for fracking infrastructure for something that's coming. The level of red tape that we've experienced um, between us and the information that we need to understand this project, let alone fight it, has been completely shameful. When we're driving by and we see a clear cut and we see pipe, they're laying pipe and I was like, when do we get pipelines in Nova Scotia? What, what's that? And we find out that that, that pipe is going down to the Shuby River. What can we do to, uh, to show that we're, this is our fishing grounds. This is where we fish. This is, uh, this is part of our, who we are. We can build a truck house for trade. And we say, well, okay, we'll build a truck house and we'll trade. I've been staying at the truck house for a little over seven months. During my time up there, I did a lot of fishing with just a fishing rod and a trap. And Alton Gas, they have um, data on the fish. I guess they didn't include some of the fish in there that I've been catching. <laughs> so uh, their, their science is completely off. 
a lot. You have to understand where we're coming from. Water and land, fish, resources. Those are what is important to us. That's the real deal. So we got to raise that awareness and keep on the good fight with prayer and information, because information is power.